Hey, you don't hear? <clears throat> okay, back with another not live stream. I always having trouble with coughing or something. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I've got um, got a box here I want to open up, and uh, it's uh, it's motherboard of Zeus, I believe, motherboard uh, that I got from Mom's machine. I just now forgot the brand of it, <laughs> but I think it's a Zeus. Anyway, uh, I'm going to open that up, and then I'll show you know the specs and stuff on the uh, desktop video. I'll go switch to the desktop. So let me get over there, and uh, let's get it open. <clears throat> Something that uh, costs this much. And this is important. I like to uh, like to not even open the box. It's been three or four days since I got it because I kept I was trying. I kept thinking, well, if I go ahead and work on my server, I'll get that thing done and out in the garage. But I'm not quite done with it yet because I ended up having trouble getting the uh, Drew graphic user login screen to work so um, here we go yep it's a Zeus and uh, it's hard to tell which way to go Oh, I was in the right place to start with. A Zeus. Uh, I can't read it upside down. M5A78LM Plus USB 3. Oh, okay. And uh, it says Windows 7 ready. See, this is, uh, which doesn't matter a bit to me if it is Windows 10 because I'm not going to be running Windows on it. I'll be running uh, Fedora 29 on it. What matters to me is if the onboard Ethernet works, because the AS Rock one didn't, and it turned out that the, uh, what else didn't work? Oh, I tried using the onboard video and it didn't work either, and I thought, you know what, there's no telling what else doesn't work quite right, even though it seems to run fine. Uh, we've got some stuff up here in the cardboard, some cables looks like. Let's go ahead and get the board out, I guess. <coughs> There we go. Okay, it's a good looking board. Got got heat sinks. Uh, uh, let's see. I don't think it has heat sinks on the VRMs. That's one thing I would have liked. But uh, these are getting these boards are old enough now that well at Christmas they went up to eighty and a hundred dollars. So they were just trying to take advantage. The sellers were, but. Uh, now this one was 51 or 57 or something. Let's see. I'm not always that good at, uh, I think these are the VRMs, the voltage regulator modules right in here. So they don't have, I could, I've got enough heat sinks. If I really needed them, I could, I could put heat sinks on it. I've got enough, I can, it may be a little bigger, you know, and I have to cut them down, but I did that on my Raspberry Pi. Works well. Uh, But it's got, let's see, well, it's got four uh, RAM slots and it supports, I think, 32 gig of memory. I've got 8 gig for it. That's fine. It probably won't. It has an onboard <coughs> DV, uh, DVI, VGA, and HDMI. So that's good. It's a 1 gig, one gig uh, onboard video memory. So, And then it's got... Uh, It has USB 3, which I don't think any other, I don't think this would be the first machine we have with USB 3. I was trying to see, okay, that's a standard PCI slot. That, PCI EX16, and this other one is PCI 1, right? standard PCI, and, but see, I'm not going to put, now if I wanted to put, um, 
video card in there, then I could put one in right there, but I won't, I won't, won't need that from Mom's machine. Oh, and this is PCIe 1. That's where it, now if, if I really got unlucky in this video chip, uh, I meant to research and see what, which exact video chip it has. I mean, Ethernet chip it has. Uh, I think I can see. <clears throat> I forgot. Oh, that's what the endoscope is up here for. I didn't. I meant to not have it. I meant to have it. <laughs> I can't really remember what it is I want to do. I meant to have it like that. No, not like that. Well, let's leave it like. Let's put it on endoscope and look at, look at it over. I meant to have on camera two is what I was meant to do. Okay, so uh, what I was wondering is if that chip right there, if I could see it, the writing on it. I wonder if I put a little bit of extra. Sometimes light's helpful and sometimes it's not. A little, maybe a little bit of light will help here. Yeah. I was wondering if that was the Ethernet chip. No. I don't think so. Just because, okay, where's the Ethernet? It's right there. I don't think I'll be able to tell. There's the chip that could, might, I'm thinking might be it. It's the only chip next to it. But I can't see. I think we're getting too much light now. That one's so little that the letters are going to be so little on it. I don't know that we could ever, ever see it anyway. This is not that good of an endoscope. That's actually where they show up. Sometimes I can do the trick of using the I can look on the specs to find this out though, can I? Where is it? Down there. Okay, so yeah, the light's just gonna You can see those LED lights, okay. Well, I can see right now that one won't work. I got one that's a little closer view. Doesn't make it, does it? Can't see the letters, but anyway. <laughs> don't even know for sure if that's what I'm the chip I need to be looking at. Okay, so um, yeah, I don't think um, let's get off that endoscope now. This is what I should have started with, so you can see it a little better. You know, at least what area of the board I'm looking on. I can even see there. I see the writing. Almost, almost read it. Doesn't look like an RTL though. I think it's going to be real tech. Uh, Osmedia, ASM, so and so. You would think it would be fairly close to. Oh, that's the one I was actually trying to look at over there. I think, or one of them. There it is, real tech. RTL, real tech. That's the one I actually was meaning to look at. <clears throat> Let's get back to the endoscope. I mean, you'll know for sure if you look at the, sometimes you can look and look and look on the, on the specs and still not find it, you know.
You can see enough to see that it's a real tick, but I think the letters are still too little. I can't get any, couldn't get any closer. Everything's in the way, you know, I, I'm setting the magnifying, extra magnifying glass on the, I was setting my mag, I was doing it like this. And uh, so anyway, it's a real tick. And uh, so seeing exactly which one. So anyway, I didn't intend to go over it with a fine tooth comb anyway. Um, do you want to kind of make sure it doesn't look like anything? Yeah, you know, sometimes you get people, every day people buy new products and then they're DOA, so. Probably you wouldn't see anything like swollen caps or anything, even if it was DOA. But everything looks really nice and good, new. And I kind of think that this row of chips here is the VRMs. I've seen, it kind of reminds me what a lot of a lot of the set of the way they set every, that up. I'm not that good. I don't have that good of a memory of everything. So. Got one, two, three, four, five, six SATA connectors. And that, I think that's the cooler for the PCIe 2X16. Is that a heat sink for that? I thought I was gonna say it's a heat sink for the onboard video. I thought that would be the onboard video under there. Yeah, it might be built, no, let's see. This is, I'm gonna be running an AMD 8300 uh, FX processor. I don't think they have onboard video built into the chip. That's the next one, the, uh, I can't, something with an R, I can't remember what they're called. That's the ones that they, the famous big, you know, with the great uh, on-chip video, on-processor, and in-CPU video. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't think, there's any video. I think they still have to have a separate video chip on these. So anyway, good looking board. I'm kind of looking forward to putting it together now. Uh, and hopefully everything will work perfectly. With AMD 8300 and four gig of RAM, that's what I'll be running in it. Let's see what else is in our box. I see that we have at least one SATA cable in there. Yep. <clears throat> or is it two? No, there's two in there. Oh, that's that's cool there. Oh, one of them's a straight one and one's a right angle. That's cool. I like those right angle ones. They can be really handy in a tight spot. Now, in the side of here, we've got some books. Oh, yeah, now here's our... our uh, I don't know why that was there. Anyway, here's our back plate. And we'll, oh, a whole manual. I like it when they give you a big old poster of the connection, the wiring connections. <coughs> oh, there's a <coughs> software CD. <coughs> I won't be using that most likely. It won't be anything that's going to run on Linux in there. And what's that? Warranty card. Okay. So we're just going to put it all back in the box until we get ready to use it. That was down there like that, I would think. Oh, yeah, it's got a little standoff to keep it safe like, with it like that. Okay. Yeah. Where does it go in there? Does it matter? Looks like it doesn't matter. Well, it might matter. Yeah, I think it, with that cardboard, I think I better put that in in there. That's, that's the lowest end. There's stuff sticking up everywhere else. Little, little hole in the cardboard. So, there we go. Of course, on the back, it's just got to tell, telling you how wonderful it is. But, uh, that box it came in is a little big, but I'm gonna put it in the box. No, let's not even put it in that box. I'm gonna put it over here. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna take that box out in the garage before soon as it here in a little while. 
Okay, so I'm gonna get some over here on the desktop. And uh, switch back to SM58. And uh, go ahead and, oh, there's one thing I forgot. I need to, I need to plug this. Uh, I need to run over here and plug in the, uh, in the, uh, go back to the wireless so I can keep talking while I'm moving. I need to plug in the, uh, power or that phone. I have to unplug the power when I'm running the audio. When I have the audio running on the phones, I had never, you know, I always used it just on the battery and I never had a buzz. Well, if you plug them in, you get a buzz. If you don't plug them in, then uh, it runs down within 10 or 20 minutes. I, 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 for, uh, last time I made a video like that, I was running, since, since my Cam 3 battery is swollen and too dangerous to use, yeah, it's still swollen. It's been sitting out. I've got it in a can, in a coffee can. It's been sitting in this. Got it sitting in here for uh, three or four days now. Just as swollen as it was, I think. So it's outgassing is what they call it. Uh, they say what it, what happens is when they get old, they start oxidizing inside and they start making gas. Uh, hydrogen, I think. Just like a core battery, I think, if I remember right. And uh, anyway, that's a sign that they could fail. They could, you know, if you keep on using them, uh, they could, you know, especially recharging them and stuff, uh, they could actually, you know, fail catastrophically, catch on fire. So that's why it's in the can. Of course, it's not all that safe. But well, I'm always in here, so even if it caught on fire at night, I would smell it or something, you know. Yeah, I might smell it till I, I might smell it and never know it. On <laughs> the jar, the jar does make bad fumes. I was worried about leaving it in the garage. I was afraid that, you know, it, if it really did catch on fire, then uh, nobody would know it until it was too late. And also, I got to thinking, I almost put it out there, but then I thought, well, what if somebody starts filling with it? They don't know that it's dangerous, you know, somebody else in the family, so. And no, you don't tell them, don't fiddle with it, because that'll make sure they fiddle with it. <laughs> you don't tell anybody that, <laughs> especially me. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, <clears throat> We're all adults here. We, we're too old to be told anything. So, um, okay. So I paid fifty-seven for that uh, motherboard, uh, and it had gone up. Well, I'd seen it at all kinds of crazy prices um, during the Christmas holidays. I was going to get it for my mom as a Christmas present, but I'm glad I got. I ended up getting out of that little robot vacuum. I'm glad I got that now. So this is just necessity anyway. So. Uh, <clears throat> Now it's already back up to sixty nine ninety nine. See, just a few days after. I don't know when. I hadn't looked in several days, but it's um, AM AM three plus. Uh, it says core unlocker on lock troop. You know, so and so. Anti surge. That might be a good thing. Uh, low EMI. Less radiation. It's always a good thing to have low, low radiation. But yeah, there's the, the video, con all the back connectors that I was talking about earlier. <clears throat> and uh, this particular, well, it's probably not just that same board you know how they do on Amazon. But it doesn't have, see, the great greatest. I usually don't like to buy things under about 70%, four stars, or five, I mean, five stars. But uh, <clears throat> uh, I look to. Well, the thing is, I read, you always go and read, okay, why did they give them one stars? And a bunch of them, oh, it doesn't support Windows 10. Well, it never said it did. You know, so you got to pay attention to why they, uh, that one dead on arrival. I pay attention to that. Terrible for overclocking. Yeah, that would be because it doesn't have the heat sinks on the VRM, so I'm not going to overclock it. Doesn't support Windows 10. I knew that, that it said that. 
Came broken garbage. Do not buy. So at first I wasn't going to get this one, uh, but after looking them over, all the ones that are compatible with that 8300 processor, I finally decided uh, to just pick the one that you know the best price and you know it it has four stars. But see that's the thing. A lot, I don't ever buy anything that doesn't have four stars hardly ever anyway. But <clears throat> what percentage of you know of each rating does it have and if they do say it's terrible or they don't like it or why do they not like it sometimes it's what they don't like doesn't matter to me so <clears throat> and in this case I don't remember all the details but uh, but I thoroughly oh more than thoroughly went over them before I doesn't have a lot of specs here does it I think I downloaded the manual somewhere. Let's see. I think I have the manual. Let's look and see. <clears throat> Just wanted to do this. Go ahead and do this because I wanted to make sure it was, you know, I mean, I thought I knew what was in that box, but what if it wasn't even what's in there, you know, but I just wanted to make sure it uh, it's going to be okay. <clears throat> While that's searching, let's look, see if manuals on this page. Isn't it? I always forget how to spell words. I don't care how many years I've known how to spell them. But I don't see anything about manual in here on this particular page let's see oh hmm maybe I didn't ever download it well we'll see if we can find it there we go with Zeus that should be it now is this it it seemed to be the right board M oh don't need the word of Zeus, do we? Yeah. This is traditional Chinese. Oh, different. English, Let's see, French. Okay, so I just want just the one that says English. Okay. Okay, I'm going to I'm imagine it's all right, but you know, you just the first time you don't I don't care what site you get stuff from. It could be infected so I should I usually scan them with before I save it to my machine. This is a Linux machine. It wouldn't probably it couldn't wouldn't be anything that would hurt this machine, but I don't want to hang on to files that could hurt a Windows machine or anything else. So, um let's see. There we go. Realtek 8 I I'm pretty sure I looked at this before I bought it. 811 E F. But I won't know for sure if that works in Fedora 29. Uh but Realtek I had the best luck with always have had best luck with Realtek until it turns out that the it was heck hard as heck to find out what actual chip it had on that uh AS rock in, in the main paperwork and online I Sure, I could have. I probably could have found it by looking at it, like I just now did. If I could have seen it, just like just now, I couldn't see it. But uh, yeah, every, yeah, seventy scanners say that's a good file. Okay. So um, we didn't save that. I may have it, and you know, when I searched, I, my search criteria wasn't good or something. But. Uh, See, I may have a folder for that already. No, I got an AS Rock folder. Okay, so let's go ahead and select all tabs. Used to could just say bookmark all tabs in Firefox for all always. Now you have to do that. Then bookmark first. <coughs> 
And what were you thinking? Okay. <clears throat> now, I won't go into any more. Um, now I know where the support page is. Well, I guess that's just the manual page. But uh, I downloaded that. So. That's all I need, and I'm going to stop this video because I need to get back on the Net Pro Max and try to finish this thing. So, um, that is it. <clears throat> and uh, it's just going to just gonna be a kind of an, an unboxing video. But I like to do that. Uh, on new, new fun stuff like that, you know. Okay. I'll be back later. Bye-bye.